everyone, my name is Minka, and today we're going to be unboxing the May 2020 Fairy Loot box. So I've been subscribed to Fairy Loot since April this year, so this is my second box. And the theme of this month was Desert Dreams, so I was super excited because they gave me all, you know, Jasmine and Aladdin vibes. And you know, all my brown girls out there, you know, <laughs> Jasmine's our only princess. So really gave me those kind of vibes. So I was excited for that box. Um, I did get some spoilers on the book because they're all over Instagram. I try to scroll through them as quick as possible, but the book is spoiled for me. But I'm still really excited to see exactly what items were included in the box, as well as to see um, what the book looks like physically. I do want to let you know that I have purchased this box. This wasn't, this isn't an endorsement of any kind. Um, I do want it to make that very clear, so if you ever go purchase Fairy Loot, like, I'm not going to make any commissions or anything like that. So with that being said, let's get to unboxing this box. So as always, you guys get a sneak peek first. Oh, I actually really love their boxes. Like, the inner design, it's so pretty. Like, I kept my other box too because I just couldn't bear <laughs> to put away and throw away something so pretty. Sorry, not throw away, recycle something so pretty. So let's get into it. So this is the spoiler card, so we're gonna put that away. So the first item in the box are the tarot cards and wow, they look so pretty. So it's a four of cups and three of cups. And again, I just recently subscribed to Fairy Lou and I really do love that they do the tarot cards as part of their boxes and you know, every month they get two separate ones. I think it's a really unique and cool idea. So uh, this is something that I always look forward to getting and I'm excited for my future subscription boxes to have these in. Uh, I'm just a collector and I would just love to collect all of them. And the artwork on them is always just so nice and like really high quality feeling. So yeah, really liking this item. Good way to start the box. So let's move on to the next item. So this is the next item. It says, we hunt the flame, the light in the darkness, the good this world deserves. Uh, and it says, Hafsha Faisal. So this looks really cool. Like I like the design of the box. My favorite color is blue. So anything that's blue, I automatically like. <laughs> and um, blue and gold, I just think is a great combo. So I like the design. Not really sure what this is. Ooh, okay. There's a little component inside to open it. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little tin to like store stuff in. That's really cute. I feel like I would probably store like tea in here. I'm assuming it's for tea or coffee or something like that. Um, but I think it's so adorable. Uh, I'm definitely going to use uh, my David's tea and like put it in here, the loose leaf ones. So yeah, I'm, oh, and the bottom has a really cool like lotus design on it too with the moon. And I also love the moon. Like this item, I feel like was just made for me. It's blue, it's Arab inspired, and um, it has the moon. I identify with the moon. It has a lotus, which I have a tattoo of. So yeah, I feel like they literally looked into my mind to make this item. So really, really liking this. And so let's move on to the next one. So the next item is a wooden spoon and it's hand carved with designs. It says, there's no such thing as just story. Wow. I actually really like this. Like, I feel like a lot of subscription boxes nowadays are giving away like kitchen utensils, which is cool, but also I'm like, they're so nice that I wouldn't want to use them in the kitchen. So I don't know what to do with them. But I really like this. Like, it just looks so nice. I wouldn't want to use it because it's so pretty. and. It kind of feels like it was hand carved. It might have been machine carved, but it's just so nice, you guys. And like, I just love the way this looks. Wow. So far, everything's blowing me away. Like I haven't found an item yet that I don't like. So that's a good sign. And I'm excited to see what the next item is. So the next item is this. Uh, I've seen this all over Instagram. So um, I did know that there's something that looked like this. I just didn't know it was this huge, which compared to me, it's this big. And I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was a pillowcase, 
Um, but I just think it's supposed to be like a mat, I think. Oh, it says it's a tea towel. What's a tea towel? Is it one of those smaller towels that you use to like wash your hands? I'm assuming that's what a tea towel is. Um, but it's super nice. It doesn't really feel towel-y in my opinion. Um, so I don't think I would use it for those purposes. But I really like the design of this. It's so pretty. I feel like I'd use this in a lot of Instagram pictures as just the background because it's so nice. Like, damn, this is so nice. I'm excited. I, I really like this item. I just love the way it's designed. Um, I probably wouldn't use it as a towel, <laughs> but uh, I'm really, really liking this. And if you have this box already, let me know how you're using this item. If you're actually using it as a tea towel or if you're using it for other purposes, because I would love to know different creative ways to use this because it's just so gorgeous not to display. So this is the next item. It looks like a candle. It says the tribal dessert and it's inspired by an ember in the ashes. Oh, cute. Mmm. Mmm. This smells amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh my God. I could smell this all day long. This is, oh my, what is it? Wow. Fairy loot. You have found my favorite scent in the world, somehow. Because this is amazing. Yeah, I don't, I can't even describe what it smells like. It's mostly vanilla, but there's other stuff mixed into it and... Mm, so good. Okay, I need to stop sniffing this because then the entire video is just going to be me sniffing this. But loving this candle. This is hard. <laughs> there's not one bad item in this box. This is amazing. Very loot, honestly, like, good job. Like, there's still more items in the box, but knocking it out of the park so far. The next item is this little baggie. I'm assuming it's for uh, your sunglasses, or maybe you can even put your phone in here. Um, the quote says, you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you become because of it. Ooh, that's a really good quote. I really like this quote. And it's something I typically stand by is you can't control what happens to you, but you can control how you react to the situation and how you change and become as a person after it. So I'm really liking this and I love the design. Again, blue is my weakness and blue and pink, oh, so pretty. So definitely gonna be using this for my phone probably or maybe even my glasses, but again, I'm pretty much blind, so I always wear my glasses. The only time I take them off is to sleep, so I'm really liking this item. The next item is this Magic Desert Sand. It's a triple blend luxury bath salt that's relaxing and soothing. Ooh, oh, it's so nice. It's nice and, you know, sandy looking. That's cool. I'm excited to try this. I need me some, you know, nice bubble bath time to like relieve the stress. I'm sure the entire world is so stressed with the situation going on. So I think this is a really clever item to put down. You know, you have a desert theme, you want to have like a sand like item, but it also relaxes people like, damn, you guys really thought about this or I'm just really reaching, but I'm really happy with this. Like this is wow. Out literally knocking it out of the park so far very very happy and excited about using this item so now let's get into the book of the box so this is another thing i like that fairy loot does is they put it in this cute little um recyclable bag they always put their books in these i think they're really cute and um they put a couple of other things in here as well so let's open this Ooh. okay this actually looks a lot better in person um, I did, again, I saw the cover of this and I saw the name, uh, but I didn't realize there was actually like green sprayed edges, or not green, these are more like tealish green. It's really, really nice. And it's actually really big. And I know it's supposed to be based on like um, Middle Eastern mythology and like a fantasy world, so I'm really excited to read it. Anything that's like Middle Eastern inspired or like Hinduism inspired. I'm more excited to read just because I'm a little more familiar with it. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't like the other histories too. My favorite history has always been Egyptian history and like ancient Greek and Romans. 
So any of those I'm excited to read. And if there's any other historical ones or anything that uses mythologies from different places, it's just, it hits my sweet spot. So I am so excited to read this. And once I do, I will definitely put a review out for this book as well. Wow. This is so nice. This literally looks like they're behind like the Taj Mahal. Like this looks so pretty. Damn, like you guys need to see this. Like, wow. Yeah, I think when I'm done this book, I'm definitely going to display this part outwards because this is so pretty. Very, very inspired and really liking this reverse dust jacket cover. Um, whoever did it, I'll probably I'll just link down in the description box below who designed this because this is amazing and I'll definitely go and check her out too. And we're also given the note from the author. Ooh, I'm really liking the artwork here. It's super pretty. I see two women. I see a man and um, they look super fierce. Like that. Who also does these bookmarks, which also just has the artwork from the um, theme reveal card. And um, this is their fairy scoop. So this is where they have all the details about the author and why they wrote the book and all those things, as well as details on the photo challenge. And it also lets you know what the next theme of the month is, which for next month is a different kind of magic, which I am so excited for because I love different magic systems and they have an Avatar The Last Airbender item. So I'm super excited to see what that is. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. So I'm super excited for that. Now I'm just going to go over all the items that were in this box, just so we get a full summary about what was in here. So the first item, was the bookish tin which was designed by at chatty nora and um, it's inspired by we hunt the flame by hafsha faisal okay that made sense on why it said that there uh the second item was the bookish wooden spoon so that was designed by katie pletters and it uh, features a quote from hero of the fall by alwyn hamilton uh, the third item was the tea towel and um, it was designed by Evie Bookish and inspired by the City of Brass. So yes, they said you can hang it up on your wall, which I definitely will do because it's so pretty. And I'll definitely want to see like how you guys have used that item or how you've decorated your room or a different space with it. So the next item was the desert bath salts, which again, really smart item. De it looks like desert sand and it also helps calm and relax people. I think very brilliant item by them. And that was made by Little Heart Gifts. The next item is the amazing smelling Tribal Desert Candle, which was designed by Wick and Fable. And um, it is inspired by An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And um, the next item is a sunglasses pouch. So I was right, it's for your sunglasses, but I feel like I'm just gonna store my phone in there. But that was designed by at Kitster Kronk, and it's inspired by uh, Forbidden Wish by Jessica Khoury. And uh, the tarot cards were the three and four of cups, and they were designed by Gabriella Buduso and they're inspired by the Throne of Glass series. So the book of the month was, of course, Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Bardashost. Bardashost. And um, it's inspired by Persian mythology, which is really fun. And um, it has an original like dust jacket cover, which you've seen, and it also has artwork on the reverse of it. It also has sprayed edges as well as the signature from the author. And it was designed by Ori Kai, so I'm super, super excited. So, what was the best item in this box? That is so hard to choose, because literally, I think everything knocked it out of the park here. Like, I didn't really find that any item was really, really useless. So, favorite item. Hmm. I think my favorite items would definitely be the tin because this design is just gorgeous and this intoxicating candle they were amazing so these are definitely my favorite favorite items in this box and least favorite this is because i'm forced to choose a least favorite item 
it would probably be the sunglasses pouch but i love this so in my ranking of everything this falls at the end but again just saying i love this and so i guess in a way this would be my least favorite because everything else is above it but i still love this all right so that was the unboxing for the may 2020 fairy loot box uh, once again, the theme of the month was uh, Desert Dreams. Please do let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. Um, did you actually have a least favorite item? Because honestly, I feel like Fairy Loot knocked it out of the box. Uh, this box was definitely a 5 out of 5 for me. Like, And I don't give subscription boxes a 5 out of 5. It's usually a 4 or a 4.5 or... I haven't given a 3 or 3.5 yet, but 5 I haven't given yet. And this box is definitely a 5 out of 5. So I would definitely uh, check out Fairy Loot because, again, this box is amazing. Uh, it is sold out and I believe the next two are sold out too, but you can definitely keep an eye out for um, the August box. So if you did enjoy that, you can check out my other unboxing videos. They're up on my channel and um, I will be posting some more unboxings once those boxes come in. And I'll also be putting up some more book reviews. So if you're interested in that, please do uh, like, comment and subscribe. And um, I will see you in the next video.